Anton Dukravets, Angel Dizrak Met continue their journey through the unexplored expanses of Kazakhstan. Today, our hosts will discover another part of Kazakhstan, Lake Alakol. You will soon learn all about the mysterious lake in this town. Are you ready for an exciting adventure? Then, let's go! Residents of Almaty region and eastern Kazakhstan are incredibly lucky. These places are rich for natural water reservoirs, offering great recreational opportunities during the summer season. Alakol means a motley lake in the Kazakh language. It is a unique water reservoir and one of the most popular resorts among the locals. It is 489 kilometers away from Almaty. Travel time by car is at least 8 hours. Train routes, bus tours and flights are also available. But our second team, along with Jordiz, are preparing for a comfortable rest in a luxury place. Lake Alakol had several names in different periods. Ala Teniz and Alakte. In the Mongolian period, between the 12th and the 19th centuries, it was called Tugenor, which means the Lake of Bridges. Perhaps in the ancient times, the land was divided by small lakes like Sasikol, Makakol, and resembled bridges. So, after more than eight hours of driving, we reached the beautiful shore of Alakol with its bright turquoise water. Finally, I'm here at Anakol. Saturated clean step air, clear water, beautiful sunsets and bright sun, all this here at Anakol. It is not by chance that the lake is called Motley. At different times of day, the lake changes its color. In clear sunny weather, the color of the water is pale blue. During rain, the water turns red, and when a storm rages, the water acquires ominous dark shades. The height of the waves sometimes reaches 2.5 meters. According to the ancient legends, water in the lake helps against fatigue, nervousness, joint pain. It gives good mood and excellent state of mind. Well, I'll go swimming now. Three centuries ago, not far from the lake, there was a large-scale battle between the Kazakh troops with the Jungars. The battle went down in history as the Battle of Anirakai. Jigits, under the leadership of Khan Abul Kair, bravely defended their lands. It was not just a victory, much blood was shed. To restore forces, the army went to Lake Anakon. The healing water quickly healed wounds and healed the horsemen from various ailments. Scientists have found that the water of Anakol contains almost all the elements of the periodic table except iodine. It helps to heal skin diseases. The local climate is well suited for those who suffer from allergies or lung diseases. Astronauts were often sent here to heal from radiation. The invaluable element of the lake is the healing mud. Its chemical composition is close to the marine mud and has healing properties. We could not miss a chance and of course we decided to try the curing effect of the mud. Interestingly, we did not find the mud in the water. We bought it. Now I will test it. Ah. <laughs> I'm like a diver. I hope it works. The Alakol mud. Not only water and mud have healing properties. Nature here is amazing. Picturesque landscapes, blue sky, white clouds, fresh air. A perfect place to restore the peace of mind. One can watch how the landscapes change for hours. It looks as though an artist creates a new painting every hour. Meanwhile, Anton too has already reached the wild coast of the northern part of Alakol. And here there is enough mud. 
take as much as you want. It is very important not to self-medicate, and the exposure to mud should be no more than 30 minutes, because its effects have not yet been fully studied. And we will test it on me. Where is the mud? <laughs> Anton, you shouldn't be complaining. Many tourists know that if you have a good rest at Alacol, then you can completely forget about cold and flu in the winter. That's why the locals are very healthy. Jaldez, <laughs> next time you should come here by yourself, alone, without anyone. <laughs> There is a pleasant smell of hydrogen sulfide here. This method of treatment is called thalassotherapy. It implies a complex of procedures. The word thalassa comes from ancient Greek and means the sea. The main procedures of such therapy are algae wrapping, or therapeutic sea mud. So nutrients enter the body through the skin. Basically, the duration of the course is no longer than a week. Sea resorts using therapy are appreciated all over the world. Lake Anacol occupies an honorable place in this list. It is believed that treatment by the water of Anacol is more suitable for men. The water and mud of another lake called Jalana Shkol are recommended for women. It is located a couple of kilometers away and is able to cure infertility, restore a healthy emotional state, relieve of stress, and its mud perfectly cleanses and rejuvenates the skin. And now is the time for Anton to try the water treatment procedures. Anacol is a large lake. It is located at the altitude of 343 meters above sea level. Anacol looks so majestic. At first glance, it may seem like a vast expanse of a sea. Its size is 2,696 square kilometers and its maximum depth reaches 54 meters. This is the only lake in the world with a black beach of absolutely smooth pebbles. The pebbles are so small and are comfortable for walking even without special beach shoes. Crystal clear water, fresh step air, indescribable beauty of the sunrises and sunsets, Alcohol attracts more and more tourists every year. I came here from Almaty. I'm on vacation. My friends recommended me to come to Anacol. This year I came for the first time. I really like it here. I have been in a lot of European countries. Our Anacol is similar to the Baltic Sea. Well, I like it. I'm planning to come here next year with my family. I'm grateful to my friends for advising me to come here. Lake Anacol is not only a wonderful place where you can have a good rest and improve your health, it is a great opportunity to be in the nature with the local birds and animals. This is how you travel to the northern beach of Lake Anacol, and you meet not only tourists, but also such a wonderful fauna. But what? She's just shy on camera. Here, you do not expect that besides the fact that a snake may be in your hands, civilization is also close by. Houses, restaurants, a hotel, everything for a good rest. There are wild beaches also. The flora and fauna of the Alagol region are diverse. There is a lot of fish, carp, marinka, perch and pike perch in the lake. 58 species of algae grow here. The water has a high content of fluorine and bromine. Pelicans, ducks, cormorants, dust, swans and herons are the masters of the coast. There is a belief that Alakon is open to the seven winds that travel here from the Gobi Desert through the Jungarian Gate of Siberia. However, the harsh climate is not an obstacle for the local inhabitants. For most birds, this area is a transit point. In the autumn and spring periods, you can meet a huge number of migratory birds coming from Southeast Asia and Africa. 
They are the Little White Herons, the crane called Belladonna, Bustard, Pink Pelican, and other rare and endangered species of birds. Friends, and do not forget about the competition. To do this, you need to take a photograph similar to ours on the shore of Lake Alacol and share it in the social media with the hashtag across the Kazakh clan. Ready? Go! Every summer, more than a hundred thousand tourists come here. There are hundreds of resorts along the lake. The most popular ones are located in Akshi and Koktum, near the village of Kabanbai. Kabanbai village. There is a small village in the middle of the steppe. What is the first impression? Well, the village is a village. I have been to many of those. But you come here and suddenly you realize how well developed the infrastructure here is. Hotel, guest houses, recreation zones, beach car rentals. The place is busy with lots of tourists. The tourists come here from everywhere. I'm shocked. So in the middle of the steppe there is an oasis of civilization. And you can follow our journey with the hashtag across the Kazakh land. Now Anton is traveling to the southern part of Lake Anakal. In the meantime, let's see what Jules is doing. She has arrived in the resort village of Koktum with its large number of guest houses and tourist camps. In the summer, there are literally no rooms available here, as all the guest houses are fully booked in advance. Tourists come here from all over Kazakhstan and the neighboring countries. We descended from the mountains of the Jungarian Alatau and arrived in the Koktum village on the shore of Lake Anakor. Now we'll find where tourists can stay here and how much it will cost. Hello, who's there? Hello, I'm Jules Porter, nice to meet you. Can I stay here? Any available rooms? Can you show me? Of course. Cool. And how much is the room here? Prices range between 5,500 and 7,500 tenge. And this includes three meals a day. You can get a room for an average of 6,000 tenge in Koktum. How different are the rooms for 5,500 tenge versus the rooms for 7,500 tenge? Well, the rooms for 5,500 tenge share a shower and toilet. Rooms for 6,500 have showers inside. And rooms for 7,500 have cable TV and are located closer to the lake. There are countless guest houses for every taste and budget in the village of Koktum. As a rule, three meals a day are included in the price. If you are not satisfied with the conditions or the price, you can always move to another place. The locals are very welcoming. This is a suite for five people. But we'll allow you to stay there alone, because now is the end of the touristic season, so it's quite slow. A toilet, shower, everything is clean, the beds are soft, there are five beds for such a price. It is very cool and you can come here with friends. This is a great option for a family with children. The beach is right here. This is a hostel type of a room. This means that every guest pays only for his bed. This guest house is designed for a hundred people. It's a family time hotel. By the way, the facility is free for children under 4 years, and there is a 50% discount for children under 10 years. It's dinner time now. We found a place to stay, now we need to find a place to dine. The territory of the facility is large and well thought out. A facility for this stuff resembles a yurt. There is a playground, and here we have a dining room. This is where we will have our three meals a day that are included in the price of the hotel room. Let's see what's for dinner. 
нас кормить. Здравствуйте! Саида Жанксинаева is the manager of the facility. She says the food they serve is all organic. Meat is purchased from the local producers and honey is brought from Altai. This is not just a guest house, but a wellness resort. If you don't eat some products, you should tell us. Some of our guests are vegetarians, some are raw food eaters. We ask for their food preferences in advance. And how many people can you accommodate at a time? This dining room is designed for 67 people and there are extra tables on the terrace. What time is breakfast? Breakfast starts at 9 a.m. Lunch is at 1 and dinner is at 7 p.m. The swimming season in these parts lasts only six weeks. It begins in July and adds mid-August. At this time, alcohol gets really busy, the hotels are fully booked, at another time storms range on the lake with strong gusts. In winter, the water in the lake is frozen, so if you decide to spend your summer vacation at Alakol, book your room in advance. Well, and if the wild beach does not scare you at all, then follow the example of our Anton. His crew has reached the southern coast of Alakol, not a soul around only the gulls flying in search of prey. A great black-headed gull is very common near the lakes of Kazakhstan. The wild nature is a step away. Cranes and grey herons nest in wetlands, and flocks of pelicans can be seen in the sky. From the first minute it becomes clear who the masters of these places are. In the central part of the lake you can see an archipelago, which consists of three islands. In good weather, it can be seen from almost any bank of Alakon. That is a conservation area. Tourists are not allowed there. In 1968, Kazakhstan's ornithologists discovered a new species of bird in this region, the relic seagull. As a result of this study, it became clear that these birds are not only unknown to science, but are also very ancient. They lived here 20 million years ago. For a long time they were considered completely extinct, and today this species is red-listed and protected. According to scientists, the number of their worldwide population is 1,200 pairs. In winter, they fly to Vietnam. We finally saw a tourist on the shore of the southern part of Alakon. Well, we would like to know about her impressions. What is your name? Veronica. Where are you from? From Moscow, Russia. Share your impressions about Lake Alakol. А как вам понравилась ли дорога, путешествие по Казахстану, я так понимаю, вы до машины приехали? Да, мы путешествуем на машинах. Дорога, честно говоря, это We are traveling by car, and the landscapes here are like in a movie. I look out the window and can't believe my eyes. At first I took photographs, but now I just want to enjoy the nature. Сейчас уже просто еду и наслаждаюсь. Alakol Reserve was founded in 1998. Five million birds flock here during periods of migration. This is an important transit route for them. In 2015, the nature park received the status of a UNESCO reserve. And what can you say about Lake Alakol? Well, to be honest, Lake Alakol destroyed my idea of lakes. It seems to me that this is a lake that wanted to become the sea. And I have the full feeling that I'm at the sea. Thank you, Veronica. I wish you a pleasant journey. I wish you the same. Well, we should continue our trip. By the way, do not forget that you can easily find the latest news and vivid photos from our expedition in the social media using the hashtag across the Kazakhland.
There is another unique lake in Kazakhstan, Lake Balkash. The distance from Almaty to the southeastern coast of Balkash is 425 kilometers. You can get to the sandy beach by car. Most of the route runs along the newly renovated Almaty Taldikogan Road. Allowed speed is 110 to 140 km per hour, depending on the road section. The estimated travel time is 6 to 7 hours. If you don't have a car, you can use the Taldikogan Lepsi bus. It runs daily. The prices here are much lower than on the coast of Alakol, but so are the conditions. Parking a currently recreation area will cost 1,000 tenge. The average price for a small house for a family is 10,000 tenge per night. The lake is unique. It has fresh water and salty water carefully divided by the Uzina Ral Strait and the Sariusik Peninsula. The eastern part of the lake is salty and resembles a sea with strong waves and the water of rich emerald color. Balkash is spread out in the middle of the desert. Its length is 614 kilometers. The width ranges from 4 to 44 kilometers and the maximum depth is 26 meters. Scientists have established the age of the reservoir. It is more than 35,000 years old. The climate in these regions is dry continental with very little precipitation of 131 millimeters a year on average. Balkash is the 14th biggest lake in the world and second largest lake in Kazakhstan after the Caspian Sea. The lake is non-drainage and is of natural origin. It originated in the second half of the Cenozoic era due to the uneven subsidence of the Turan Plate. The indentations in the earth were flooded with water. The first mentions of Balkash appeared in the Chinese records of 126 BC. They called this region Siyu and Lake Balkash Sea High, which means the western edge and the western sea. It was under this name that the lake was noted in the Atlas of 1855. The Kalmyks and the Jungars called Lake Balkash Nor, and the Mongols called it Ag Dengiz, or the White Sea. The flora and fauna of Balkash never ceased to amaze the visitors. There are 20 species of fish in the lake. The lake was once called Balikas, translated from the Kazakh as fish food. This is a paradise for fishing enthusiasts. The lake is rich with bream, vobla, crucian carp, snakehead and catfish that can reach 70 kilograms in size. The flora of Balkash is unusually rich. There are more than 60 species of plants. There are lots of rare plants and animals in these lands that attract scientists. So there are red-listed pink and curly pelicans, swans and spoonbills. For lovers of hunting, the season for boar hunting is open from October to the end of December. Hare, wolf and fox hunting is possible in January. Underwater hunting is gaining popularity lately. Travelers coming to Balkash discover the extraordinary world of nature. Recreational tourism is gaining momentum. There are several sanatoriums in Balkash where lake salt and mud treatments are offered. The beach season is open from late May to September. Going savages, be careful as there are places where only fishermen are happy. And there are opposite, where you can only swim. In general, the trip promises to bring a lot of new emotions and impressions. That's all for today. We try to tell you about how you can travel and have a vacation in Kazakhstan on a moderate budget. And our presenters Anton Dukravets and Jodis Rachmet will continue their journey through the unknown expanses of Kazakhstan. And in the next program, the first film crew will go to discover eastern Kazakhstan and the second crew will explore the western valleys of our vast country. Follow our journey through the country of the Great Steppe in the social media with the hashtag Across the Kazakh Land. <laughs>